What's up guys, this is the Rover and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So the runoff happened last time, the British laid an army off our shores and they have advanced across to attack us. So, we are going to sally out, because they've laid siege and they haven't assaulted. So it would be terrible, terrible shame to just let them attack us. So let's get to it. They've not got a very big army, got some nice infantry, but we've got a crap load of muskets. So let's get to it. What I'd so it's still the Swedes blockading my port. What I'm, what I'm tempted to deal with them, and the reason why I'm thinking about that port is because I'm thinking if I put the Brits back across the sea, will I be able to follow them? Because that Swedish navy may stop me from being able to actually cross. Um, but we'll figure that out. Um, but yes, yeah, infantry units. Try buff them up with a bit of, bit of artillery, maybe another infantry unit. Not very much, and then. Um, try take Finland and try get an aggressive piece. Okay, let's apply that because they've not really got a chance. So we'll extend that flank out when we get to it. Some of our musk units may not be very good, but they are still useful when used en masse. General centre. So let's take these guys. Good, we've not done all their demi cannons. The mortars have got targets. Let's have a look at the Scottish line infantry. They look pretty good. Yeah, right now I'm completely okay with just letting them see they've realised they can't sit there and be shot at, so they're moving up. So, in which case, I think I might want to do something like this. Especially the cavalry's going to abandon this flank. Their artillery is finally started engaging. Well, the Dragoons were dismounting for a second. Yep. Unsurprisingly they're going to focus on this flank, but to be honest, the artillery power we have, we can bring to bear. They're just out of range of cast shot, but they will come, they will move in range eventually, I have no doubt. Come the conscripts. So who have they got back here protecting this 33rd in their dragoons? So I want to be a bit careful with this cavalry unit. So who are you? On the Scottish line. I want to see if we can get these marines to commit, really. Let's get our provincial... Let's get our provincial cavalry into the mix. Yeah. 
also means our infantry. See, they're, they're not committing. Let's bring our cavalry into bear. Get them to attack the, attack the uh, sea footline infantry. Form your little square. They're actually leaving lots of their units behind. Yep, your marines are wavering. Hit their unit of conscripts because they're routing and they will die very quickly. The army routing. Get my conscripts in. We've got my new battle line, I suppose. Let's bring you guys around up against the Marines. Bring you guys around there. Assuming the guys to the rear won't ever get a good shot. Enemy general's been killed. Okay, so I want to make sure. Come on, don't select cavalry. Let's get the artillery fire on the conscripts. Bring out my dragoons. Guys, turn, turn these guys' firewall off. Let's charge guys into the combat. We've got to try and Regiment of horse is going to be a bit tricky. Let's try and let's try and run them out of this combat. Let's hope my conscripts can tie up their line infantry because I want to go for the marines. Actually, you go against the gunners then if they're going to be tricky. Chase after them. Yeah, you are after the Marines. General's bodyguard. Probably routing because someone was shooting in the back. Kill the regiment of artillery because they're just two gunners down, down in the field. He's over there. into the mix. General's bodyguard, hit the marines. All of you guys, fire will off. Conscripts are going to make it. Turn the fire back on for these guys. Not that they're going to route anyway. Hit the 33rd foot. Absolutely continue. Oh, it's the mortars that are firing. Good. 
to try and kill him again. Speed up time, actually. I may as well go for the 33rd foot, as they're there. Although they're going to do a particularly bad job at trying to actually kill them. So it was nice of them to actually come back. Okay, so the last unit is over here. Is this the, the gunner? Oh, he's going to make it. Trip over the cart. Trip over the cart. <laughs> okay, one guy, he's lost all his guns. Close. That wasn't close. That was a slow quality infantry unit against us. Lost 800, they lost 2,000. Good stuff. Immediately, let's turn off the rebuilding of these. As you can see what's going to happen now, because of the this navy, it's going to interfere with a lot of stuff. Unless... Let's move some troops back to here, because it looks like their zone of... Con no, it does impact this little bit. Yeah, that's Swedish navy. Because they have no other real job to do. This is all they can do. Okay. Not to see anymore. The hope is, <clears throat> so I want to recruit some guys in Copenhagen, join them up with those musketeers up to the north. Go and capture Finland, which should be easy, because it's not garrisoned. We have no real garrison bonus. Yeah, look, they're just going to... Ooh, yikes. How many can we kill? None. But yeah, there was no way that... There's no way that British raiding force wasn't going to be super annoying, so I've just got to kind of ignore it. It does mean research is, is postponed. But this is why it's good we've got that one in the school. Because that, that inherent uh, limit with Denmark needing that naval supremacy to transit all its lands is a dodgy one. Except the hope is if I take Finland, we'll request we can get peace. If not, I'll have to take Courland and try get peace. And I'd probably trade that away with someone. Because it's a poser. It really is. See, if I can get Sweden off my back, that solves quite a lot of my problems. But I don't think we will, because we own their capital. So I think I kind of need to take Finland, and I also kind of need Russia to take Moscow and that way they'll be pressured to accept which I think Russia I think Russia will take Moscow back I may as well cancel building that farm as well just so I may as well just not build it but still have the money like, obviously I want it to be built, but if they cancel it, I lose the building and the money. So, I may as well do it myself. Even though it's only one turn, they'd probably try and uh, raid it. Yep, lots of raids, because they're scamps. See, I can't, I can't stop them. So let's replenish. Let's build a cavalry, line infantry unit. And a set of demis. And let's go recruit a general. I can recruit a general. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Darth Man. That's definitely not who we. At least he's fighting for us now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. So at least, to be honest, I might be a bit faster going for fire by rank for this university, because we've got two gentlemen at least. So 
Zoom. So how has Sweden taken that? Yeah, they're a bit grumpy, but new stuff being built is cool. Um, okay. Cool, I think. Right now there's not... Yeah, that was... You say a fleet, it was a sloop. A single sloop. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I fixed my black screen problems. Um, anyway... So the hope is because... Yep, yeah, because Russia's taken Moscow. If we attack Finland and capture it, we could seek peace. Um, though, to be honest... They'll get three units. So it might not even be worth recruiting this cannon. It might be worth just getting another unit of infantry. So next turn we can go for it. I think that's a good idea. Yep, the Brits are raiding away because if we take if we can make peace we can focus our attention on trying to defeat Britain we'll show them who's got the best red flag with white crosses even though British flag is blue with a Scottish flag with a whatever you get the point I was trying to make so they can aff but I think we will be able to get peace with Sweden because they'll be down to one province I think it'd be too much to try and see if we can become if we can make because I suppose as much as they are an empire can change the difficulty of individual nations or give or you know change the bonuses and boosts so if you wanted to, you can play a game where you're like, okay, let's see, I'm playing as Britain, but I don't really want to play as... I don't want to do, you know, World War II, per se. You want to do Cold War, so you'll end up boosting the Soviet Union to be very powerful. So they drive and smash into Europe, even more so than they did during the Second World War. Then your folk... Ooh. Sorry, Russia. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, right. Obviously, as soon as they say they've not got many units, they then decide to garrison the city. But to be honest, they'll have, it looks like they'll have five units. We'll have six. One of them is probably going to be a militia unit or a armed, armed populace unit. One's probably going to be a mortar unit, so we'll have the advantage in mobile firepower. Okay, here's the rub. Well, I say here's the rub. Actually, let's take you and a cavalry unit. <laughs> Just there, general. Good. Replenish. Replenish. Rebuild everything. you you guys are already replenishing let's upgrade the happiness build actually do we need to upgrade the happiness building so they will start to hate us less okay let's get let's get Nelson but definitely not Nelson embarked where am I safer If I run these guys and embark them on the sea, will they just get stuck? I can't remember if that's how it works. So let's do this. I think we'd have to build next tier schools, which would increase the clamour for reform. Only by one. It's pretty good. Yeah, they're blockading us. But at least we'll get trade income next turn. No, nope, just some way. No, we won't, because they're both broken, aren't they? Norway ends up being quite a valuable little country. Um, still doing fire by rank. Cool. Let's pop the old end turn. Fra 
around to still on the move. So there's a mild concern because I've split my forces. But I needed to eradicate that marauding British unit, even if it was just for a turn. But the British will be rebuilding another army. But when I get fired by rank, I'm absolutely going to land an army on Britain and just shoot the hell out of them. Because they're not, I'm not going to stand for this. They've been our greatest enemy so far. More so. You can outmaneuver them on the land much, much easier than you can. Have. Tempting to go straight for. It feels like they have more forces waiting to defend London than they do. Than they do Edinburgh, and to an even lesser extent, to, than they do for London. Not London, Dublin. That and it seems kind of themey that the Danes come around and capture Dublin, because I think it wasn't Dublin of a Viking city way back when. Good. Get in. Embark. Run away. Can't take them in one turn, but it's, it's a unit of conscripts and a unit of pikes, so even with the garrison, that's probably enough. Wicked. Let's upgrade these farms first. Upgrade the college. Can't get the Royal Academy yet. Yeah, you guys are all replenishing. Can't build anything, we've got access to Grenadiers, Hussars, Guards. Cool. We've started to get Oden, Oden, Odense back. Yeah, I just need to get social contractors so I don't lose the tech research rate. I don't fall too far behind in tech research rate. Cool. Can we trade with any more people? Nope. But our ports are open. That's the important bit. Cool. Come on, France. You're supposed to be our counterbalance to Britain. What have you done? <gasps> of so that leaves the Dutch province. The Dutch. I was about to say leave the Dutch provinces open, but it looks like the Dutch have taken Cologne. <laughs> so the the United Provinces isn't out of this yet. They're usually one of the best targets to go for because they open up a trade, they open up a a, a, uh, a pirate region in both India and two useful ones in the Americas. Ceylon's, not Ceylon. Oh, I can't remember it now, but there's the one on the coast of, well there's one that's in um, Brazil and there's one that's on, it's just north of Venezuela. Oh, here come the Swedes again. So they're going to blockade me again. Not for long though, because I feel like with the capture of Finland, that will kind of force them to play nice. Especially if I do peace and trade. If I can, that is. That would be quite a nice offer. Still got five grand there, so I don't care. Next our roads. Let's get the happiness building. Where do I? No, I think I get the drill school. Get the access to guards and light infantry. Let's get drill school. Then let's upgrade Bergen to top level major fishery. So then Christiana Norway is going to grow very quickly. So Stavanger will grow. Where's Stavanger? There you are. Cool. So you're growing very nicely. You've also got a, your mine up here is still okay. Your trade post is still okay. It's never been upgraded though because it's too far away. I'm normally looking down here. <laughs> um, cool. So let's demand the surrender of Finland. It doesn't happen. Let's attack. Let's a and see if we can get a good piece. 
because it feels like I don't want Sweden and destroy Sweden. Um, but let's get to it. I speak Spanish to God, Italian to women, French to men, and German to my horse. God damn it, Charles. Okay, let's deploy out on this side. General. Cause I, f I, f Cause I want to move around the town, really. So let's triple speed time. Oh, they want to go the other way. We should beat them in a firefight. Might make my men run to get them into position, just in case they try and they try and do something sneaky. So they got pikes to the rear, which are there are calls for concern, but not a massive deal. Okay, now they can walk. Because my concern was they might rush us. So let's advance into a good line. Good, the pikes are moving away. So what I want to do is to see if I advance like as it is. We'll, we'll pick apart like this unit first, and then we'll gradually travel up the line. So if they're not very careful, we could get quite the superiority in firepower. Sprint the last few minutes, moments. Okay, here they come. This conscript unit is going to be completely overmatched. And they're advancing up. They're half fire like armed citizenry as well. Poor, poor souls. Let's move up a regiment of force. See, this is what I find tricky about cavalry in the gun era is that I can't just smash them into there because otherwise I'll have to turn fire well off or I have to make them engage someone else directly. Come back. Starting to attract their line infantry to get into the mix. Let's advance to the top of the hill so it looks like Flank. It's a bit close, but I need to get them over the hill. Good. As soon as we can make the conscripts route, we can just roll the flank up. Good stuff. Now we've got a safe little channel to advance up our cavalry. Looks like they might be attempting to deploy their pikes. Let's move these guys up. Help keep the accuracy good. My militia being shot at, so they're unhappy about that, which is understandable. 
Oh no, there's a danger they might just clip my militia, so I'm, I'm deliberately moving them, not attacking them, even though they are dying. Oh, I must have been attacked moving them. Poor old militia. Yeah, the pikes have got enough sense to know. We say horses, we attack horses. Come on, militia, open up on him. Nope, they're routing. A whole lot. Let's get Nelson in. No, definitely not Nelson. That's one thing he is not. He is not Nelson. Let's get Nelson in to get some blood on his spurs. Pike's going to escape, yeah. Go for the garrison provincial line. Good stuff. This is all that remains of the Finland garrison. Oh, this guy's screwed. Get him! Bop. <laughs> it's like a Looney Tunes cartoon. They just ran into him. Cloud of horses and riders. And then, you know, you don't actually see him die. You just see the horses usually look much longer on the floor than he ever was standing up. Good. Finland is ours. So diplomacy. Sweden. Peace. Oh, well. Let's just do just do peace. Okay, peace. Threaten. Damn it. Okay, well. I guess we're going to go for Courland. What have they got in Courland? Well, it's a bit trickier, because they're actually building up a garrison. But maybe the Russians might go for it with their not-so-good general, who looks very happy with himself. Mm, that's a shame, Sweden. But to be honest, their fleet's rather knackered, so is now the time we start to build up our own navy. I think it might be, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part, so... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of Denmark. Cheers guys.